America, buckle up, it's 2024 and we're facing another election for the history books. This time it's Vice President Kamala Harris squaring off against former President Donald Trump. The tension? Palpable. The stakes? Higher than ever. Forget reality TV, this is real life and the future of the nation hangs in the balance. Polls? They're about as predictable as a Kanye West rant, all over the place. One minute Harris is surging, the next Trump's back on top. It's a political roller coaster and nobody's got a handle on this thing. What we do know, it's going to be close. Like, really close. Think nail-biting, seat-gripping, can't tear your eyes away close. But amidst the chaos, one thing is crystal clear. Every. Single. Vote. Matters. This isn't just about picking a president, it's about choosing the direction of our country. Will we embrace progress and unity, or will we backslide into division and uncertainty? The choice, my friends, is ours. So, grab your coffee, put on your voting shoes, and let's break down this political showdown. Because in 2024, America's future is on the line, and it's time we all paid attention. Forget the coast, folks. The real action is happening in the heartland, those swing states that always seem to decide it all. Think Pennsylvania, where Trump eked out a victory last time. Michigan's another nail-biter still reeling from 2020's close call. And don't even get me started on Wisconsin where every vote feels like a potential tiebreaker. These states aren't just battlegrounds, they're political war zones. Campaign ads are bombarding airwaves, rallies are drawing massive crowds, and door-to-door -door canvassing is reaching fever pitch. Why? Because in these states a few thousand votes could swing the entire election. No pressure, right? And the candidates know it. Harris is focusing on healthcare and jobs, issues that resonate with working families. Trump, meanwhile, is hammering on immigration and the economy, hoping to fire up his base. It's a classic political showdown, and these battleground states are the arenas where it's all going down. So, if you live in a swing state, congrats. You're holding the future of America in your hands. Get ready for a wild ride because every vote you cast could be the one that tips the scales. Listen up, fellas, because this election isn't just about you. In fact, it might just be the ladies who decide it all. That's right. Women voters are emerging as a powerful force in 2024, and their voices could be the deciding factor. Why? Well, for starters, women are fed up, tired of being ignored, talked down to, and having their rights chipped away. They see Harris as a champion for their issues, a leader who understands their struggles and will fight for their future. And the numbers don't lie. Polls show women overwhelmingly supporting Harris, particularly young women and women of color. They're energized, they're engaged, and they're ready to make their voices heard at the ballot box. For Trump, this presents a major challenge. His comments about women have alienated many, and his policies have often been seen as detrimental to their interests. Can he win them back? Maybe, but it'll take a miracle, or at least a major change in tune. One thing's for sure, the power of women voters is real, it's growing, and it could very well determine the outcome of this election. So gentlemen, if you want to know who's going to win in 2024, ask a woman, she'll probably have the answer. Section 4. Late Deciders, the wild card that could tip the scales. Here's a newsflash. Not everyone is glued to the 24-7 news cycle like us political junkies. Shocking, I know. But seriously, there's a whole swath of voters out there who like to wait until the last minute to make up their minds. These are the late deciders, the wild cards, the folks who could swing this election either way. Who are these enigmatic voters? Well, they're not easily defined. Some are just busy living their lives, tuning into politics when they have a spare moment, or when their annoyingly informed friend forces them to. Others are genuinely undecided, weighing their options and trying to cut through the noise. And here's the thing, both campaigns are desperate to win them over. Harris is trying to appeal to their sense of hope and optimism, while Trump is playing to their fears and anxieties. It's a high-stakes game of persuasion, and the winner could very well be the one who can connect with these late deciders on an emotional level. So if you're still on the fence, congratulations, you're officially a hot commodity in this election. Take your time, do your research, and don't let anyone pressure you into making a decision before you're ready. Your vote is your voice, and it's worth taking the time to make sure it's heard.